Hello, greetings from the wild west coast of Ireland. Roisin Curry here with my Christmas special, an excuse to share with you some of my favourite sketches from Christmas through the years. Like this one, done in Grafton Street in the centre of Dublin. This shop is called Brown Thomas and it's kind of Dublin's poshest store. And it was really lovely to draw all the people entering into the warmth and the golden light of the shop. Christmas is a time when people tend to relax and sit still, giving me the perfect opportunity to sketch them. Like this little drawing I made of my husband watching a match on TV. I loved the greens. They were soft and muted. One afternoon shortly before Christmas, I took my daughter, my eldest girl, Honor, to a very nice hotel in Galway City and we drank hot port and I wrote a recipe for it. This is a drawing of a poinsettia that my husband bought in the local German discount store, but it just goes to show these things can be very nice. For about 22 years, I had the great fortune to have an Austrian mother-in-law, as a result of which my husband's home was always filled with the most fabulous Viennese cakes and pastries and sweet things. And this is one of our favorites at Christmas time, vanilla kipferl, a gorgeous crunchy little biscuit with, with vanilla in it. This is one of my favourite little sketches. Every year Christmas and the New Year, my family and I went to visit my mother-in-law who lived on the outskirts of London. It was my great pleasure to take my kids to get something festive. I can see there's a gingerbread drowning in a glass of hot chocolate here. Lovely. My mother-in-law had the most cosy, beautiful home. Here's my son Paddy on the left and my husband on the right chomping down some Christmas pudding in the afternoon. Here's a little drawing of my youngest, my daughter Livy, and she's sitting with her knees bent up against the dining room table and you can see the house full of Christmas decorations. And I like the way I kept the palette really tight, just green, red and brown. A mug that I bought for one of my kids for their Christmas cup of tea and some crunchy biscuits and a nice little ornament. Well, I have to tell you that my students are the kindest, most generous bunch. And one of my students on the east coast of the US, she arranges for a huge box of candy to be sent to us every year at Christmas. But some of the things in it were so funny that I couldn't resist drawing them. Also pretty funny were some ornaments that I bought a few years ago for one of my husband's relatives. Now, my husband promptly said that the relative in question would absolutely hate them. I was delighted because they were very expensive and I fell in love with them the minute I saw them. I don't know what they're made out of, but they're really cool. They're by, I suppose, a sculptor called Patience Brewster. I think she's brilliant. Now, these ones weren't individually handcrafted. They were from a multiple box from a German discount retailer, but they're pretty cool nonetheless. As are these fellows who came from a DIY store in a 70% off sale. Well, I guess those little soldiers have climbed onto a tree. I have grabbed a branch from the back garden and I've painted it white and I've hung it with bits and pieces. And I think they look smashing. And here's my son, Paddy at the table on Christmas Day. Well, for some reason, I decided it would be a good idea to paint the pot of stew as it cooked away. But I did include those soldiers from the DIY store beside them. And I think they look quite nice together. My son Paddy's class at school that Christmas made a Christmas cake in school as part of their curriculum and they were under strict instruction not to bring any whiskey in for the Christmas cake. You can understand why. Now this particular sketch is one of my very favourites. There's something so atmospheric about it. It shows a painting I did of some white porcelain figures. And you, they're Victorian carol singers and they're also snowmen, which is a bit weird, but I think they're very amazing when they're all lit up. They look so cute. And I also like the way I did the snowflakes in gold because I'm normally quite literal in sketching things. But this time I just went a bit mad and I like the result. Well, my lovely Austrian mother-in-law had this big cookbook full of recipes in German. And we have made vanilla gipfel and all kinds of things from it. More poinsettias 
from the German discount shop. My husband cooking something for me with some very festive candles in the foreground. You can't leave that one unsketched, can you? A little bit of Christmas foliage and finally a sketch I did in Galway Market which is now proudly displayed on some hoardings. I think they call them scrims around the Christmas market. So I have licensed, if you don't mind, my sketch to the people who are running the Christmas market. And I'm very proud of it too. Now this is kind of a plain sketch, but it's one of my favorites. I like the way it's just a few colors. We were watching Papillon on the TV and my youngest Liv had just been given a guitar for a Christmas present. And it's just a tranquil little scene. And lastly, well, our little terrier Reuben gets a Christmas present every year. And this year he got a little reindeer, but he surgically removed the insides from the reindeer when he hadn't had it for very long. Well, that brings us to an end of this little collection of Christmas sketches. I'm leaving you with three Christmas cards that I painted this year for friends and relatives. And I wish you all the best for the Yuletide season. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.